In this video, we learn how to close a tab in a Lightning Console app using Workspace API. So let's go to VS Code. Let's create a new LWC component. We'll give this name as Close Tab. Now, first thing, we'll go to the meta file. And we'll Change the version to 60, make the expose to true, and add the targets. Or we can copy it from the previous app. Now we'll go to the HTML file, we'll create the card quickly. Lightning card title close tab here we'll put div with the class SLDS padding around medium and for this demo we'll need only one button as of now so we'll say lightning button and button will have label close tab and as on click handler call this method name close handler and on click of this button will call this method so let's create that method close handler Now the next thing we need is to first we need to import the is console for lightning workspace api just to make sure this workspace method works only in lightning console app so let's import that import we can import is console navigation to call this we need wires so we'll import wire We'll say add wire. We'll pass that. We'll store it as a property. Property name is the same name as the method, except I will be small here. It can be any name. We are using this, but you can use ABC or ideally it should be meaningful. You can use is console or console app, anything. Now the next thing we'll check whenever you click on a button, we need to check if this is console navigation if yes then only perform the logic now the logic here is to call the close tab and the for that we need to import close tab and the syntax is very simple in close tab you need to call the close tab and pass the tab id but how we will get this tab id that's the question right to get this tab id first we need to find out how many tabs are there and all what tab is in focus and to solve this problem we have a method called get focused tab info so whichever tab is in focus we will fetch the info for that so it gives us the focus tab id it gives us the focus tab uh, sub tabs everything right so let's use this and i'll for now i'll remove this first what we're going to do is we'll say call the focus tab information it's a promise call we'll say then it will return that tab info it gives us the tab info and we're gonna console the tab info just to see what all information it comes because maximum method in workspace api use get focus tab info so that's why we are printing it to get an idea tab info and if there is an error let's say catch error so dot error error right now we haven't worked on right now we haven't worked on close tab we have just use get fo uh, focus tab info to see what all information will get on click of 
pose handler so let's deploy this let's go to our sales force go to case and edit the page and close tab we'll drag it to the top and hit save now hit back once it's saved now we have our component in, placed on the page do a right click go to inspect clear the console click on close tab once you click on close tab you'll see the tab info is getting printed and here you can see that it tells us whether this tab is closable is there any custom icon or is it highlighted and all, all those stuff but the important thing is it gives us the tab id right it gives us the title it gives us the url so this is our tab main tab it's not focus it's sub tab is focus that's why the highlighted it falls right it's not highlighted basically it is focused but it's not highlighted but here the important thing is it tells us it has two sub tabs two sub tabs is one is account the second one is account list okay that's why it's giving that tab id of the sub tabs recorded in everything so if we get this tab id and pass this tab id to close tab it should close this tab so let's try that we'll go to our vs code and here what we can do is you can simply say close tab and tab info dot tab id let's deploy this let's refresh the page and hit on close tab so ideally this tab should get closed along with all the sub tabs you can see it's working though that's how the close tab works but here i just want to show you one more thing because there is another way of writing this right now we are using then approach some people love to write in a async and await approach so let's try that as well so i'll not remove this code so i'll create another button and i'll say close tab with a sync close a sync and so i'll show you how you can write the same thing in a sync and await as well so here we can say this is a async method which means it's gonna call the promise and here we'll say if is dot is console navigation we'll use try and catch here if there is an any error catch the error and we'll simply say console dot error error in try what we're gonna do is we'll say call get focus info while calling we need because it's an async approach so we need to use the await keyword and await keyword only works inside the async method once the response comes we can use tab info here or we can directly do this as well tab id basically we are doing restructuring here once you get that tab id we need to call close tab Close tab is also a sync, basically a promise. So we can put a wait here as well. Once it's done, it's done. So that's another way of writing our same thing in sync and await. Let's try this quickly. Let's try this. 
whether it's working or not let's deploy it's much cleaner as well but it's totally up to you there is nothing wrong and right about this syntax let's deploy it let's refresh the page quickly and now let's try to close tab with the sync you see it is getting close so now our close tab is ready that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video